Right, I'm joined by Nairobi, and I've already forgotten your name. I told you I'm <laughs> terrible at this. Shaya. Sorry, I'm so bad, yeah. So, Alt Black Era, how are you guys doing today? Amazing. This, especially after our set. Oh, it was Did good. Oh my gosh, the best show we've we've ever done. The crowd, the energy, our performance, like blown away. So it's one of the problems. I would have loved to come and see it, but I'm stuck in here doing like work and everything. That so is such a shame. You would have loved it. I, I reckon so. I gave you guys a listen. I'm just like, band to check out. It was on my list, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> maybe someone will cancel. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, no one has. <laughs> today we're doing a segment that I like to call all the fun of the festival. So it's all festival based questions. So the first one is, what is your best festival experience? Either as a group, as a band, or as a fan? Oh, uh, well, we haven't, ever since we've done music, we haven't actually been to any festivals before. Oh, wow. Yeah, so obviously my best festival experience is download. Yeah. Yeah, you can explain the experience. It was a good experience. It was fun. The crowd was wild. We were going for it. Yeah, everything was just great. I think, well, another, I think Glastonbury, got to give Glastonbury a mention. We did that for the first time. And yeah, that, 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 that the first time we've ever been, it was so huge. Um, like we did really good, like our performance wise. It, I think that was what, one of the first moments where we looked out into the crowd and we were like, oh my gosh, we can actually do this. Like it's going to work. It's actually going to work. So it was like a career defining moment. You were yeah. like, this is actually real. This is actually happening. Yeah. I could imagine what an incredible feeling that would actually be when you're seeing all these people like staring back at you, cheering your name. And enjoying it. And we're like, yeah. oh my gosh, not you guys enjoying it as much as we are. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine. What would you say your essential festival item would be you know what it would be not long trousers like I'm wearing today because the mud I'm not sure if I've been dipped in yet yep I have you're avoiding it a bit but like <laughs> I, I, I would say wellies you can tuck them yeah long you know. wellies I thought walking boots because I thought the ground's gonna be hard I need to be able to maneuver but wellies yeah you got me beat on the wellies it's a very on rock and roll thing but you know it's required <laughs> Your um, thingy um, layers because today it's been raining, it's been sunny, it's been hot, it's been cold, so always layers. Yeah, well, this is the this is what we call the per like the average UK festival like weather. It's, you're never going to get away from it. Yeah. You just got to deal with it sometimes. But layers, but you're very very sensible, you guys. You know that, don't you? Most people oh, like beer, beer, lots of beer. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> you know, you're being sensible. She's still 17, so no, no beers. <laughs> well, we won't tell you. are at a festival, you know. Like, <laughs> um, how would you say performing at a festival differs to a venue? And what would you, what do you actually prefer out of the two? I think that's really hard because at a venue, um, you're not well, probably because we're at smaller venues, you know. But we, we're close to the crowd. So I can like put my mic in someone's face and then if it's like I'm normally like this and they can scream into the mic and you can hear it. But at festivals I'd have to like jump like three meters <laughs> over like the, the photography pit to get to people. Um, but I think festivals are, are bigger stages which allow me to go a bit crazier um, without worrying about falling over the guitarist. <laughs> so I think I think festivals you know summertime i think the vibe of festival is different as well what do you think yeah i, th I think festivals after after today festivals yeah, after is my favorite, favorite yeah you guys are buzzing it was a, definitely a good yeah. one yeah, well, um so obviously you've not done that uh, you've not been to many festivals i was going to ask this question anyway you might want to improvise it actually but have you ever had any funny or given like what festivals are gross festival experiences if, if you can't think of some, I might tell you some of mine. I've done many. Well, I think our, like, our gross festival, it's not really gross. I think it was, like, more of, like, a shock was um, there not being toilets. Or, like, under, or there being toilets, but not being, like, because we're not campers. We're not outside. Yeah. So when I saw a hole <laughs> and a bowl, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> so I just, we wrapped that up real quick. Yeah, I was I, out of it. Yeah, no, I... I Many people say the toilets. What about yourself? Um, I don't really have any bad experience, but right, but everyone's like hating the mud. I actually like the mud. It, I feel like very fest festive. <laughs> I feel very festival. Yeah, I like the mud. Are you, you going to be one of these people that like just goes? I'm embracing. 
dives in, she comes like, back yeah. like. She's also wearing bigger boots and like, more sensible. Yeah, I'm there like. <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun. Ah, oh, fair one. Yeah, uh, well, some, I'll tell you some of mine just because like yeah, you sure. need to hear some gross ones. So okay, go for it. I'm a veteran of festivals now, and uh, one of the like gross and funny at the same time. I was at Glastonbury once, went into one of the porta potties. It, it, it was Mount Crapmore. But what made it funny, so that's the gross part, what made it funny is someone had stuck a little Union Jack flag in the top and I was that's just like, so gross. it's gross, but you got to admit, there's creativity when it happens. Only in the UK, what the hell? It wouldn't, it wouldn't happen at like Coachella, I promise you that. They're, they got way too much class. So, uh, now what would your fancy festival lineup be? Now this, uh, I'm going to like restrict it to about five bands, otherwise we are going to be here all day going, right, day one, this is what's going to happen on this stage and this stage, it will take forever. But five bands, now they can be living, dead, broken up, you could be on the bill if you want. What do you think? I'll say we have to be headlining. Damn straight. Of course, yeah. Um, uh, the Prodigy. Yeah. You give, you give two. Um, I would say Stromy okay. would be sick, and Ash Nico. And then what's the joint one? 80s. Oh, 80s, yeah. Good call. Um, now what would you say your vital items would be on a rider? So, what do you need on your rider? But then, more than that, if you could have absolutely anything, sky's the limit, you could choose anything, you'd be like, I ain't playing unless you bring me that, you know what I mean? Like, like not going on stage. What would they be? Ooh, um, we're not at our diva level yet. Yeah, we're not so. at our diva. Check in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like our rider's pretty basic up right now. It's like, what's it, Miss Miss Gillawater, yeah. Miss Gillawater, and wipes. Just take off the makeup. Yeah, and so, a mirror. A yeah. bin would be great. You know. <laughs> Tell me, you got a bin in your dressing room? Yeah. We got one here. All oh, right. <laughs> Sometimes you never know. It's not even mirrors sometimes in yeah, It's not mirrors. Sometimes we're like, in our phones, like, oh. Um, and maybe a light. <laughs> and we haven't got to change the light. Dark. <laughs> you guys really are sensible, but come on, there must be something that you'd be like, we must have. Go go full diva. Or we would play. Well, if we weren't going to play, we wouldn't play. I don't think there'd be an item that would be like the choice between playing or not playing. Um, maybe I would. Oh, you know, I'd have. I would have a flat screen playing the Prodigy performance video where they did it. Um, what was it? What was it called? The Rock, 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 AM, Rock, AM, Rock, Rock, AM yes. Ring. Yeah. I would have that playing on a big screen on loop, like the the hour and a half, to get me into the vibe. Amazing. Like, yeah. Massive Prodigy fans. Like, it's a bold move going above Prodigy on your set list, but like, I I would still <laughs> stick around for that. You know what I mean? Because what better way of doing this set? Um, yeah. They're opening for us. We're bigger. Diva! Oh, I thought you meant for the different days. Like, in the order. Oh, in the order. Oh! No, but well, we have to be headlining. Yeah, exactly. We have to be. <laughs> well, final question. What advice would you give someone that's coming to their very first festival? I can literally see the cogs moving. This is brilliant. I know we're such thinkers. We like to we think are. about every answer. We're like, <laughs> um, first festival. I guess maybe go with a group of people who have already been to the festival, because I don't think it's. I, I can't imagine it being fun to all go as first timers, especially if you're like, um, I guess more dainty, like me and Che are like surprised by the mud, by the toilets. Like you just want someone who's gonna be like, yeah, we do this, we do this. Someone who knows the culture of it, instead of just like going in fresh and then maybe um, a tent with a security system. I don't know. We haven't camped yet. Yeah, yeah our camping's overrated. Trust me, like, if you're gonna avoid it, avoid it. Yeah, really, okay. Yeah, well, when it's horrible weather, you're gonna get mud. When it's glorious weather, you'll wake up at five in the morning going, water <laughs> yeah it's not good but when you're a veteran you you'll get used to it yeah okay well i want to thank you guys so much for chatting to us today thank it's been an you. absolute pleasure thank you so thank much, you so much.